I'm going to talk you through calibrating the sensor really quickly. If you've looked online, there's the manual that has the diagrams of calibrating it, but uh, hopefully this video will demonstrate it a little better. So before I even begin, I make sure that I've unplugged all the motor wires. If you try calibrating while the motors are plugged in, then your ghost is going to start acting kind of crazy on you. You can also go into the software and you can hit turn motors on and off, but I think the best solution is just to make sure you unplug all your motors first. And then you can move forward with calibrating the sensor. So first what I've done, I turned the power on and sent 12 volts power to the Lexmos board. And then I plugged it in with the USB and started up the, the software. You'll see at the bottom it says accelerometer is not calibrated. If there's any errors, it'll show that on the bottom left in red. So the first step to calibrating is you want to start with the sensor in the position that you're going to have it mounted on the ghost. So for the ghost, we have it mounted upside down. And you can see here it's negative Z for the top axis and the right axis is Y. So that's basically with the sensor upside down. We have a nice level surface and also a box to, to help with this. You can start by holding the sensor upside down and you want to hold it nice and secure and don't move it at all while you calibrate the sensor. So hold it still and then go into the software and hit calibrate ACC. You'll hit that, wait for about four or five seconds and then you'll see that the light on the control board is now solid green on the main control board and the light on the third axis is blinking. So this is how it should look after it's calibrated. But if you want to do the six point calibration, which is recommended for any control board, it just offers a lot better performance, your horizon will stay more level, then you'll start with the same step. And then the next step is go ahead and take your sensor and flip it upside down, or you could say right side up. And we'll use this case to help demonstrate so now hold it in this position and hit calibrate ACC. And if you watch on the main control board, the green light blinks for a little bit, then it blinks really quickly, and then it's solid. And once it's solid, you can move to the next position. So we've done two positions so far. Next position, we'll go ahead and hold it vertically like that. Hit calibrate ACC. Wait another few seconds. So now you can move around to every edge of this case and you'll finish the six-sided calibration. So we've done that one. We'll move over here. Hold it completely still. Hit calibrate ACC. Green light solid. Now we'll just use the bottom of the table. Hold it still. Calibrate ACC. And then the last side, hold it right on here. Hit calibrate ACC. Okay, so now you've completed all six sides, then hold your sensor still and you can write it to the control board. It only takes a second to write it to the control board and all those settings are saved and then you can go ahead and attach the sensor back on your ghost and move forward with the other settings.